Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Switzerland video. And today, we are back in X-Plane. Kind of like as always, you know, as always, as always. Anyway, we are in South Africa today to check out a special aircraft. What is it gonna be? Let's find out. We have it on the runway already. It's right here. And this is what it looks like. Looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. But yeah, we're gonna check it out. So this is our plane today. This is a Nord V. Weird name, I know. This is a VTOL aircraft. What that means is that it can take off vertical. Makes sense, I guess. Now, this is also a bigger air taxi. And you all know air taxis. It's quite a concept, to say the least. Now, this has four propellers. No, in fact, it has eight propellers. But as you can see, you have no control surfaces. And you have nearly no control surfaces on the wing. But actually, when you, for example, want to bank right, the controllers will spin right. I mean, they won't spin right, but you know what I mean. It's a very special aircraft, to say the least. And after takeoff, you can just engage engage normal plane mode right here. This is the angle and you can just go for zero and it will act like a normal plane and have normal plane engines and normal plane characteristics of flying. It's very interesting, right? Totally. As you can see, we can really take off and those engines are powerful. Very powerful. Okay, this is way too powerful to be realistic. Yeah, those eight engines deliver a lot of power, which is needed to hover. Let's just go ahead and go to hover mode and as you can see, we are slowly coming to a stop in the air and we're Floating. Kind of cool, I guess. And this can be used for airports like Lukla, you know, or oil rigs or aircraft carriers. Probably not. We can just go ahead and crash. Probably not responsible enough for me. Did I say responsible? I mean responsive. Now the cabin is also kind of special. We have a headless pilot. Oh my goodness. And we have a very small cabin that only has a few seats in it. I'm pretty sure you can also fit a lot of other seats in here, but okay. And here's the passenger door, but we don't really care about that. Let's just go ahead and take off. As you can see, this hovers quite well. It can stay up in the air when you align the throttle, when you put the throttle properly. As you can see right here, we have just normally taken off. Let's just land. Now this is coming down too quickly. That was hard, but that was not a crash. Let's try again. Okay, that was hard, but we stopped. That was nice. And we have a pilot in here too, without eyes. That is kind of creepy, not going to lie. Now, this thing will work on helipads and stuff. So let's just try to use a helipad, shall we? All right, we are in some neighborhood. We have uh, a helipad in a backyard. Here we go. We have just taken off. Now, as you can already hear, the engines are super quiet. They are electric as well. I guess they are quiet because of that. Are electric plane engines so quiet? I actually don't know. So we are in Chicago. Let's just land on a random helipad, shall we? Okay, let's go in. Yeah, we are getting very low FPS right now. Kind of sad. 90 degrees. Okay, so we have a helipad down here. Let's just try to land on that one. At least I didn't miss it, you know? That's a point. Now, as you can see already, we are at Lukla. Very nice airport as always. Very safe as well. No, actually not. This is not safe. Now, as you can already tell, this is like not a big aircraft compared to the Tara Air Dornier 208. 28 compared to the Dornier 228 from Dara Air. This is like not big. Let's try taking off. I'm giving full power. This is weird. Why isn't this working? Let's go to normal plane mode. I mean, you can do a lot of loops with this. You know you don't have to worry about the wings falling off. That's great. All right, this didn't happen. Let's try again. Okay, we're giving full power again. This is not working, though. Let's just go full power plane mode. Uh-oh, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, okay, let's try normally taking off. You know, landing this plane is pretty damn hard, and we are inverted. Okay, let's try landing this. Yeah, this is really not a good idea. I can already tell. Wow, this guy's legs are overstressed, to say the least. Oh, we're coming in for a smooth landing. That was not a smooth landing. That worked very nicely. But you know, again, this has a lot of potential. But does it also fly without wings? Why am I doing those things? This has turned into some flying thing. I don't know. All right, so I can control pitch anymore. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, and you fall over very quickly. Am I a joke to you? You are very lucky though. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. So yes, as you can see, flying without wings with this thing is totally possible. I mean, it crashes every 10 seconds, but we are still alive in real life. Okay, so let's do a little air show as this plane is kind of invincible, I guess. Oh, wow. Now, what I thought was this thing should be able to do just a vertical takeoff in plane mode as well. 
God damn it. I mean, those engines have to be powerful. Boom. And we are inverted again, which happens quite a lot in this aircraft. Oh, oh. Now, obviously, you can also use this plane for big rescue operations. Probably not, actually. Let's just go to Mount Everest, shall we? I think Mount Everest is to our left. Why do I hear birds? That doesn't make any sense. This thing can fly high. This is like, wow. All right, let's land. Now, the top of the mountain is very small. We have to be very careful not to crash. All right, let's go. Oh, God, I can't land. Okay, I'm losing quite some altitude. I'm not comfortable with that. Okay, anyway, let's use the mountain as a runway. Okay, now we need to rescue the rescue oh, operation. Man. Yeah, this thing just keeps rolling down. This is not stopping. <clears throat> anyway, you know what? I was gonna try an oil rig. You only get on those things with helicopters or boats. But we only care about aircraft here. We don't care about helicopters, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead. Uh oh Okay, let's use this plane as a boat then. Well, you know, the boat idea is probably not even the worst idea I've ever had. You know, you can normally take off still, I guess. I hate that this works. Oh, this might have not worked out. Now, will I rate this plane as useful or completely nonsense? I can say that this is not, this Why is not good. Me? You know, there are always weird people that need weird airplanes, right? And that perfectly serves that. But how does this thing operate in space? Oh, wow, that's what I thought. You suck. And you even disappear partly. That's weird. We're coming down way too quickly. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, this, uh, this is weird. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.